islands seem to be a sort of cloud dump. All the hemispheres, leftover clouds, arrived and hung high above the craters. Their parched throats were hot to touch. Was that why it rained so much? And why sometimes the whole place hissed? The turtles lumbered by, high domed, hissing like tea kettles. And I have given years, or taken a few, for any sort of kettle, of course. The folds of lava running out to sea would hiss. I turn, and there proved to be more turtles. The beaches were all lava, variegated, black, red, white, and grey. Their marbled colours made a fine display. We had the teacher who was so strict we weren't allowed to breathe in our lesson. She used to stand there in front and say, No breathing! And we had the whole morning to get through. The weak one, she used to kneel over and die. You would hear them um, going down behind you. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. And the whiny kids used uh, to put their hands up and say, Nick, can you go out and do some breathing? And she used to say, No, you've got the whole place on. Oh, go on, miss, go on. Do you know at the beginning of the week there were 48 kids in my class, and at the end of the week there were only five of them left? Do you know you'd be stepping over kids just to get out the ring? Way up north to the top of the world, there's a place hard to stand. You see, if you go, the sky is far too low in the curious country, Scotland. Believe it or not, you must pop a squat in order to waddle around this place. You find if you stood, do you no good, so most of your body would be out in space. So lock your knees when you're all a squat to avoid a Scotlander's worst fear of standing up straight and realising too late you're floating out of first atmosphere. My island seemed to be a sort of cloud dump. All the hemispheres left on the clouds arrived and hung above the craters, their parched throats hot to touch. <coughs> Is that why it rained so much? And why sometimes the whole place hissed? The turtles lumbered by, high domed, hissing like tea kettles. And I'd have given years, or taken a few, for any sort of kettle, of course. The folds of lava running out to sea would hiss. I turned, and they proved to be more turtles. The beaches were all lava, variegated, black, red, white, and grey. The marble colours made a fine display. How big does a puddle have to be before it's called a pool, a lake, a lock, or even a sea? And what happens if a puddle grows before it reaches your knees, your chest, or even your nose? Most of the time, puddles aren't deep. They're small and they're shallow. Rising from blue winds, ready for you to leap? That's. But not this one on which I look down. I'm in it in a boat so that I won't drown. I can't see the bottom, just a sign that says, Welcome to Puddle Town. How big does a puddle have to be before it's called a pool, a lake, a lodge, or even a sea? What happens if a puddle grows so it reaches your knees, your chest, or even your nose? Most of the time, puddles aren't that deep. They're small and they're shallow. Run for your wellies, waiting for you to leap. But not this one. This, I'm in a boat so I won't drown. I can't see the bottom. Just a sign saying, welcome to Puddle Town. This is the poem, Summer. Sunshine warming my toes. Underwater fun with my friends. Making homemade ice cream on the porch. Many long nights catching fireflies. Early morning walks to the creek. Reveling in the freedom of lazy days. We had a teacher who was so strict, you weren't allowed to breathe in her lessons. She used to stand at the front of the class going, no breathing. And you had the whole morning to get through. The weak ones used to keel over and die. You'd hear them going down behind you, kaboom. Kaboom, kaboom. The whining ones used to put their hand up and say, Miss, Miss, can I go outside and do some breathing? She always say, No, we've got all the playtime to do it in. I'll go on, Miss, I'll go on. Do you know, at the beginning of the week, I had 48 kids in my class. At the end of the week, I only had five left. Did, do you know, at the end of the day, you'd be stepping on kids just to get out of the classroom? Oh, no, there's no need. That's a shame. She was really nice. There's Dave. Ha. Oh. Oh.
always knew you were a bit weak. At the bottom of my garden there's a hedgehog, a frog, a lot of creepy crawlies under a log. There's a baby daddy long legs, an easy going snail, and a family of wood lights are all on my nature trail. There are caterpillars waiting for their time to fly. As worms are turning the earth over as ladybirds fly by. Birds all visit, cats all visit, but they all chose their time. I've even seen a fox visit this wild garden of mine. My garden is a lively place. There's always something happening. There's a constant search for food and all that flowering. When you have a garden, you'll never be alone. Because I believe we all deserve a garden of our own. How big does a puddle have to be before it's called a lake, a dot, or even the sea? And what happens if a puddle grows so that it reaches your knees, your chest, or even your nose? Most of the time, shallows are not deep. Uh, puddles are not deep, they're shallow. And they're right in front of you, so you can, uh, in front of your welly, so you can uh, get ready to leap. But this one on, but not this one, which I'm looking down, I'm in a boat but I'm not drowning, so I won't drown. I can cannot see the bottom, just a sign saying welcome to Puddle. Want to be a fish? I'm a slick fish head, spread fish jam on my fish bread, all's good run my bowl to do. We had a teacher who was so strict, you weren't allowed to be in their classroom. You, she used to stand at the front going, no breathing, and you had the whole morning to get through. The weak ones just used to keel over and die. You hear them going down behind you, kapoom, 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 and the, and the one you would always go, man, can I go out and do some breathing? No, you have all break time to do that in. Oh, go on, man, go on. Did you know, at the start of the week, there was 48 kids in my class, and at the end of the week, there was only five of them left. Yeah. Did you know, you'd be stepping over kids just to get out of the room? Oh, no. There's Melanie. That's a thing. She was really nice. Let's do. Yeah, I like this. Always need a bit weak. How big how big does a puddle have to be before it's called a pool, a lake, or a lot, or even a sea? And what happens if a puddle grows so that it reaches your knees, your chest, or even your nose? Most of the time puddles aren't deep. They are small and shallow up to well is waiting for you to leap. But not this one, which I'm in a boat and so I don't drown and I can't see the bottom, just a sign that says, Welcome to Puddle Town. Scotland by Mark Mason. Way up north near the top of the world, there's a place where it's hard to stand. And you see if you go that the sky's far too low in the curious country of Scotland. Believe it or not, you must pop a squat in order to wander around this place. You'll find if you stood, it'll do you no good, as most of your body would be out in space. So lock your knees when you're all a squat to avoid a squat line as well as fear of standing up straight and realising it's too late that most that you're floating outside of well Earth's atmosphere. We had a teacher who was so strict, she wasn't even allowed to breathe in her lessons. She used to stand at the front going, no breathing. And you had the whole morning to get through. <gasps> the weak ones would just keel over and die. You'd hear them going behind you. Kapum, kapum, kapum. There's always that one you could go, Miss, Miss, can I go out and do some breathing? No, you've got to play time to do it, Ed. Oh, go on, Miss, go on. Do you know, at the beginning of the week, there were 48 kids in my class. And at the end of the week, there are only five of them left. Yeah. At the end of the day, you'd be stepping over kids just to get out of the room. Oh no, Miss Melanie. That's a shame, she was really nice. There's Dave. Ah, uh, hard luck Dave. Always knew you were a bit weak.
How big does a puddle have to be before it's called a pool, a lake, a lock, or even a sea? And what happens if the puddle grows and oozes your knees, your chest, or even your nose? Most of the time, puddles aren't deep, they're small and shallow, right in front of your wellies where you for you to leap. But not this one, which I look down. I'm in a boat, so I won't drown. Can't see the bottom, just the side. And it says, Welcome to Puddle Town. Well, we had a teacher who was so strict, we weren't allowed to breathe in her, her lessons. She used to stand in the front going, No breathing! And you had the whole morning to get through. <gasps> the weak ones used to keel over and die. It was hidden going down behind you. And as always a whiny kid going, Miss, can I go outside and do some breathing? And she'd say, No, you've got all playtime to do it in. And he and he would say, No, I'll go on this go on. Did you know at the start of the week there was forty eight kids in my class? And then at the end of the week there was only five of them left. Yeah. And did you know that you had to step over kids just to get out of the classroom? Oh no, there's no one That's a shame, she was really nice. <laughs> there's Dave. <laughs> Hard luck, Dave. Always knew you were a bit weak. Sunshine warming my toes. Underwater fun with my friends. Making homemade ice cream on the porch. I'm Many long lights catching fireflies. Early morning walks to the creek. Reveling the freedom of the lazy days.